Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So in this session, I am going to discuss uh, the solution for model question paper 1, which has been affected from uh, 2022 for the first semester BE degree examination, Mathematics for Computer Science Stream 1. The subject code is BMATS101. This has been changed to, the subject code has been changed to BMATS101. So as I have discussed in the previous video, the solution for module 1. So now in this video, I am going to discuss uh, the module 4 called uh, modular arithmetic. So moving on to the solution part, question number 7a, find the least positive values of x such that the question number 1 in that 71 is congruent to x mod 8. So moving on to solution. 8 divides 71 minus x. So, for what value of uh, x? So, it will be this value 71 minus x will be divisible by 8. So, if I give x equal to 7, so that becomes 64. 71 minus 7 will be 64. That divides that will be divisible by 8. That will be the required solution. Similarly, moving on to next question 78 plus x is congruent to 3 mod 5. Here 78 plus x minus 3 is divisible by 5. So by for giving what value for x, this value will be divisible by 5. If I give x equal to 5, that value will be divisible by 5. So 75 plus 5 will be 80. 80 is divisible by 5. That will be the required solution. So moving on to Third question, 89 is congruent to x plus 3 mod 4. So here also 4 divides 89 minus x plus 3 minus of x plus 3 here. My, multiply by minus sign, it will be minus x minus 3. 89 minus 3 will be 86 minus 3. So for what value of x, it will be divisible by 4. So by giving x equal to 2, it will be divisible by 4 is the required solution. Moving on to question number 7b, find the remainder when 349 into 7, uh, 74 into 36 is divisible by 3. So the solution is uh, we have 349 is congruent to 1 mod 3, 72 is congruent to 2 mod 3, 36 is congruent to 0 mod 3. It means that 349 minus 1 that will be divisible by 3. 72, 74 minus 2 will be divisible by 3 and 36 minus 0 called 36 is divisible by 3. So from property we can write this as 349 into 74 into 36 is congruent to 1 into 2 into 0 mod 3. Here 1 into 2 into 0 is 0 mod 3. So therefore we can get the remainder as 0. This is very simple problem. So you are going to have in modular arithmetic. So you can solve all the problems. Moving on to question number 7c. Solve a system of linear congruences. They have given uh, the system of linear congruences. Name the given uh, system of linear congruences as equation 1 and 2. So the given congruences it is of the form ax plus by is congruent to r mod m. Cx plus dy is equal to s mod m. Then we can find the GCD of AD minus BC comma M is equal to 1. So comparing with this equation, we are going to get A value, B value, R value, M value, C, D, S, M. After identification of those values, find out a GCD of A, B, M. So we are going to get GCD of A, B, M as 1 over 1 and GCD of C, D, M is 2. Now considering uh, GCD of AD minus BC comma M, we are going to get uh, GCD of uh, AD, AD minus BC comma A, M as 18 comma 7 which is which will be equal to 1. Therefore, we can say that the given system of equation called 1 and 2 has unique solution. So consider the equations whatever they have provided, consider those two linear, linear system of linear equations. Then multiply the equation 2 by 2. We are going to simplify those two equations. We are going to get by just sub subtracting these two equations, we are going to get 6x is congruent to 3 mod 7. Therefore, we can say that 6x minus 3 is divisible by 7. So, for what value of x it will be divisible, we require to find out. 
so by giving x equal to 4 we are going to get the solution as uh, which is divisible by 7 now putting that x equal to 4 in above equation we are going to get uh, the equation 1 as 2 times of 4 plus 6y which is congruent to 1 mod 7 so that becomes 8 plus 6y is congruent to 1 mod 7 so simplifying this 6y is congruent to minus 7 mod 7 so therefore uh, here 7 is uh, 7 divides 6y plus 7 by giving y equal to 0 we are going to get the required solution for the x and y so therefore x equal to 4 and y equal to 0 is the required solution for the given linear congruences moving on to question number 8a in that uh, first one find the la uh, find the last digit of 7 power 2013 so consider 7 square start from simple value 7 square equal to 49 is congruent to minus 1 mod 10 then rising by power 1006 we are going to get uh, 7 square whole power uh, 1006 is congruent to minus 1 power 1006 mod 10 so as uh, the as we have negative value raised to power even powers we are going to get as positive so we are left out with 7 power 2012 is congruent to 1 mod 7 but we know that 7 congruent to 7 mod 10 as we know this concept we can have uh, multiply both the side by 7 we are going to get 7 power 2013 is congruent to 7 mod 10 so therefore we can say that 7 is the reminder it is the required solution for the given problem similarly another problem is given find the last digit of 13 power 37 so rising from uh, 13 square we are going to get 13 square value is 169 is congruent to minus mod 10 minus 1 mod 10 so rising power by 18 on both the side since we required uh, 13 power 37 i am going to find out 36 here so then i am going to multiply by 13 again so we are going to get uh, 13 power 36 is congruent to 1 mod 10 then we know that 13 congruent to 3 mod 10 so therefore just nothing but 10 divides 10 that's why we have taken 13 congruent to 3 mod 10 so multiply by the left hand side by 13 and the right hand side by 3 in this equation we are going to get 13 power 37 is congruent to 3 mod 10 so therefore reminder is 3 here moving on to question number 8b find the remainder when the number 2 power 1000 is divided by 17 starting with uh, 2 square is con is equal to 4 so i cannot uh, find out uh, the divisibility of uh, mod 17 so that's why i am going with uh, 2 power 4 is equal to 16 16 is congruent to minus 1 so which becomes 16 plus 1 will be 17 17 is divisible by this 17 that's why 16 is congruent to minus 1 mod 17 rising both the side by 2 power uh, 250 we are going to get 2 power 4 whole power 250 is congruent to minus 1 power 250 mod 17 so 4 into 250 is nothing but 1000 so 2 power 1000 is congruent to 1 mod 17 therefore remainder is 1 moving on to question number 8c the last question of this module find the remainder when 14 factorial is divided by 17 by wilson theorem if p is a prime then we have p minus 3 factorial congruent to p minus 1 by 2 mod p so substitute the value of p here p is nothing but 17 so 17 minus 3 factorial congruent to 17 minus 1 divided by 2 mod 17 after simplification we are going to get 14 factorial is congruent to 8 mod 17 thus we can have the remainder as 8 here so is the required solution for the given problem so this is the way to solve uh, the problems of modular arithmetic if you have any doubts you can put a comment and if you like this video please press like button and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you all for watching this video and i wish you very all the best for your examination